here's another point that I'd like to make. Um, you got Vivek Ramjimami, all that dude. Um, I haven't watched uh, him with Steven Crowder or anything. I, I don't trust any of these fucking rich ass. And, and being rich, let me get this clear. Being rich has nothing to do with financial Okay, uh, having money and just being able to do whatever you want all the time and all this stuff and you got private jets or you got a fucking, you know, like all the toys that I have and all this stuff. No, there is still privilege, you, you know, uh, above rights. It's like, no, you have to have everything set in place in your life, food, water and shelter the needs of necessity first. Everything else is a privilege after that. So all these people that are privileged, it's interesting to see some of these people that, you know, they have all the money in the world, all the finances at their fucking fingertips, their doorstep, fucking don't have to worry about jack shiz. Like, well, whatever we want to do, we could just go on a fucking uh Caribbean cruise we can just go over here and fucking do whatever we want it oh it doesn't matter if a gallon of gas is five fucking dollars we got enough money to do it that's okay that is okay if you made yourself to where you have that financial freedom that's fine have I benefited from uh, financial freedom and all that shit? Of course. I'm sorry, a little bit of sarsaparilla in my fucking voice today. Of course. Because you made your fucking shit. But what I have a problem with is all these fuckers that didn't ever actually had to haul rocks and fucking kick dirt and fucking wood and all this shit. I have had millionaires in my family alone. Millionaires. Have I seen any of that? No, I haven't. And they were good fucking peeps. I got one fucking grandfather. Uh, actually, all my my grandfathers, they did good for our boomer fucking parents and all this shit and blah, blah, blah. They made good for them. It's the fucking vultures and the system that comes out in the end. It doesn't matter how good of a part of a family you were in or or how wealthy uh, a family was that you're involved with. Now, it's always the good fucking people, all the ones that actually deserve fucking, you know, a little kickback from their family and whatnot. I'm not saying that I want any of that at all. I don't fucking live my life as a vulture to go out there and fucking take from my families or any other families wealth that they fucking made for themselves in their life. Being smart fucking people. The elite, all this fucking bullshit and all that. Yeah, if I get a little cross-eyed or my fucking people gets a little bigger on this side. That's an eye injury. That's not drugs. That's not fucking... I've had troopers fucking ask me about that shit. It's like, hey, why is your pupil bigger than the other one? It's like, well, shouldn't they both be the same if you're asking me that stupid fucking stupid fucking question? People have gone through some fucking shit in their lives. And I don't depend upon family. I don't depend upon anyone ever that made something for themselves to fucking just like, Oh, no, we're going to leave you with some good stuff. You'll be all right. Now, fuck that. The vultures come in. They're all over in everyone's family. The vultures. All this shit. 
there are good people out there with a lot of fucking money in that financial freedom. Is it really financial freedom? Does anyone real get to do anything with that that they would actually do good with? Families are no different these days than all the selfishness that's gone. I'm not... Maybe that could be taken the wrong way. I'm not trying to put that out there in the wrong way. It's just like... Fucking so many things go on. And so much fucking bullshit. And everything. It's like, hey... Don't depend on your fucking inheritance. There is none. That shit don't fucking matter. Because there's someone in your family that's going to fucking vulture their way in or they're going to fucking weasel their way in. They've been doing it for fucking years. It's no different than the government fucking making all you motherfuckers out there just selfish. Fucking selfish. Do what's right. You know, this Vivek Ramaswamy, Ramsey Mammy, all this shit. It's like everyone's been through something. Everyone came from somewhere. We've all fucking benefited from other people doing hard fucking work like this man right here and always keeping a solid fucking planted ground. That is going to benefit your offspring. Going to benefit the butterfly effect of other people. Other fucking families. Everything. I don't know if this is making any sense. I'm a, I'm a little fucking... Like, Jesus fucking Christ, man. And you leave fucking Jesus out of it. And you leave God out of this one. I want the fucking wrathful God of the old fucking testament i'm coming down from fucking smoking seven pounds of fucking cannabis with the fucking true god and whatnot whatever you know from mount sinai to see all these assholes with their false idols and all this fucking bullshit and nonsense and oh what you leave your kids and what your kids do is yeah i've seen what everyone does with all these fucking inheritances of the world is pretty fucking sickening. It's like absolutely fucking sickening. Nothing but fucking vultures. And they don't do it. I haven't seen anything good done with the wealth that was made by people like my grandpa Wynn. My grandpa Sullivan. My grandpa Sedevi. My grandpa Buck Shagman. I haven't seen none of that well fucking spread properly. Don't depend on those things. That's bullshit. It's it's sickening. How the, the greed, the greed, and I know this isn't a new thing. This is definitely not a new thing. At all. It has been going on constantly. And it's just getting worse and worse. So we'll see how all these conservatives and how all these... Oh, you're so conservative, but you're not doing any conservative... You're not doing anything that conserves anything. Like conserve water, like using a... Uh, well, it's kind of full of water, but you know. Having distillation, having a herb garden, having fucking some shit growing around here, you know? It's like, and that's just minimal things. I don't depend on anybody but myself. And those type of people with that same mentality are the ones that I'm going to trust to have my six, even though I watch my six all the time. I watch my wife's six. I watch everybody's six. Fuck.
financial fucking all this shit getting passed down. It's like there's vultures so many places. There's so many fucking vultures. Don't buy into the desolation. I'm so fucking tired today. So fucking tired. The destruction of the the family unit. It's it's already been here. It's a constant destruction of it since all the Stepford wives and all the instant gratification of the nineteen fifties and and fucking all this shit. It's like wake up, everybody. You know, there might be a time in your life where you actually have to get down the reality and and push harder than you've ever had the push in your life to do what's right. Because you're going to meet that fucking maker. You're going to meet that fucking time in your life coming really fucking soon. And it should have already been part of your mental. It's here. It's all over the place. Think about that next time you go to your local grocery store and corporate America fucking store like Kroger and fucking all that. They just change the names. It's the same thing throughout the United States. Same thing in Alaska. We got fucking Fred Myers. We got Cars Safeway. Everyone has sold the fuck out. It's all corporate America bullshit. I don't even care when you wake up, but you better wake up soon. Because when you come knocking on my door, <clears throat> and I'm already Mad Max fucking 3030 over here. If you need something, you better have something that you can fucking, you know, trade with. Because that's the real financial fucking gain in life. That's the real... The real gain in life is not financial. It's the it's barter and trade. It's taking care of one another. Because you're going to need that. You better make peace with your fucking neighbors. You better make fucking something happen. And uh, Just stay strapped. Stay dangerous. Stay vigilant. Don't fucking call the fucking troopers. You don't need people that have no idea what the fuck is going on complete fucking strangers that's like a jury of your fucking peers if you don't know any one of those fuckers they're not your peers enough said just salty Alaskan Rambo out <laughs>